y'all, I am so irritated right now. My son sit up here and literally took $2,000 off my fucking credit card. That's my rent money. That's everything. Every fucking thing. He got to go. I just put him out. He's 16. I already done sit there and told him. I really feel like calling the fucking police. That's why I came live so I can calm down. I really just feel like calling the police at this moment. You really took some money off my car to go sit up there and do some shit for a, a, a little ass girl. Okay, guys, this is SS Glow Up Lifestyle. Supposedly, her 16 year old son stole $2,000 off of her credit card. I have a lot of other things to show you other than this clip, but we got to start with this first. Y'all, I am so mad right now, man. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what to do. My feelings hurt every fucking day, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do, like, I never thought that he'd sit up there and do something like that. <sighs> I never thought that he'd sit up there and do something like that. Like, when I got the notification earlier, I literally, when I sit up there and I got the notification earlier, y'all, the notification was basically saying, like, that I purchased this, but I didn't sit up there and pay attention to it. You feel me? Like, I didn't even worry about it or nothing like that. I, he he got to go. He waiting on his daddy to come pick him up right now. He has to go. He got to go. He got to go. Like, you don't do that. Like, he got, like, he his mouth, he's being hella disrespectful, all of that. So, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. You got to go. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't have no more money. Like, I called my bank. My bank sit up there and told me I got to wait until Monday. They froze my account. They completely froze my account. So can't nobody else use it. But I can't get that. He needs to get away from my door. He not getting back in my house. He not getting back in here. I do not care. Get away from my door, little boy. See, you see how disrespectful he is? That's why my dog sitting here barking. He is so, he's being so disrespectful. Since he's been talking to the, he's being so disrespectful. Since he's been talking to this little girl, he's been getting hella disrespectful. He's been out the chain disrespectful. I'm about to call the police. I'm, I'm giving you a chance and letting your dad come and get you. Get away from my door. Get away from my door. Okay, first thing. If this is true, I feel so sorry for the mom because I do understand that sometimes you have a kid that's just out of control. Sometimes there's mental illness. There's so many factors and I know how hard it is to be a mom and raise a kid, bro. So, or at least I don't understand as much as a mom do, but I can, I'm aware, right? I'm empathetic of what it's like. Now, the first thing that I want to address, if a card made a purchase unauthorized, you typically should be able to go to your bank and let them know and dispute it. And it should be able to be fixed. Typically. She says she ignored it, but like you even got a good week, even a week, bro. Like, and this is ordered from Sean or Sheen or Shine, whatever. A lot of that stuff is from China. So it takes a long time for that order to process and be shipped. You typically have a lot of time. So you shouldn't have to worry that much. Also, how the fuck do you stack up $2,000 on one shopping cart from Sheen? A lot of the stuff on here only costs 10 to $20. There might be like a $40, $50 dress somewhere, but think about that. That's easily like 40 to like 70 items. Now let's say your son bought something for himself and the girl, it's a little more believable. But if he bought all the items just for the girl, he bought 70 items for another 16 year old girl? I guess. Now one thing that didn't make sense to me is that she kicked him out the house. It seems to be almost immediately as she found out. I find it weird because she immediately went live to tell everybody her business. And I don't think that like a thing between you and your child is not everyone's business. I'm sorry, that's an L mom to go online and spill y'all business for everyone can sit there and state their opinion on y'all. Now I'm here making a video and stating no opinion. 
She said she called his dad and the dad was on the way to get him. What I find weird is that you threw him immediately outside. Does he have his clothes? Does he have all his items out of his room? I doubt he packed it up and then just went outside that fast and then you went live immediately. It makes more sense to lock your kid outside if he's being violent, if he's doing drugs in your house and this is your last straw, something like that of the sort. But like, if his dad's on the way, you could just set him on the couch and made him wait. There was no more potential harm coming your way. Maybe I don't understand something, so I look at the comments. Dispute them charges and tell them your car was stolen. Exactly. Tell your bank. Exactly. The part that got me is, you know how much you gotta have in your cart to reach 2,000? Exactly! That makes no fucking sense! Where's the original post? It's on Facebook, so I went to go look at those comments. And what I found was crazy. She is corny. She always makes videos that be far-fetched for views. She better ask that man of hers who always put her through the ringer. I'm like, what? You guys wanna say this is for views, right? Then I saw this. I saw her live earlier. First time I came across her timeline. A lot of people were saying every time she goes live, it's always something, right? all made up every other day it's something ain't that much bad luck in the world if she's doing this for clout like some of you are saying then that's messed up because i would never slander my child's name i said that like that so if that's true shame on her i blocked this lady because every time she pops up on my timeline it's always drama her boyfriend cheated so she crying and carrying it on and she's fighting side chicks skid or not dysfunction is not entertainment and it's sad as fuck if you think otherwise so if one person said this, guys, I would have just moved on. But since there's a lot of comments, bro, I went to go do some more digging and look at this. I ain't even see shit. What kind of fake so pay for my phone. Fake ass games. Want to be your spiritual fake ass shit? All the fake shit you doing? You are right out here doing all that fake ass. Blah, 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 but you really fake. Boy, you fake. You're fake. And, you, and, you're you're fake. and if you you're are fake. fake. You're fake. They should know. If you're, you're fake. fake. They should you, know. You, you, you're fake than a motherfucker. That's who's fake. That's who's house. fake. You're hella mad right now. Okay, so that was her arguing with her man. Even her man is saying that you went on Facebook, rah, 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 and it's all fake. Then he says, I bet you're on Facebook right now. Because see, yeah, exactly, because you're fake. So the boyfriend believes that she creates drama to get clout on Facebook. He's saying this. And the comments are saying this. One thing that was weird is that she was saying that she didn't know why he was mad, right? But in this clip, he's throwing all her stuff out. And they're throwing all my shit out. You that serious? You that mad? You mad, mad? You mad? You mad? Now listen to the clip right before this. You mad for no fucking reason. Like, if I ain't did something with somebody and I'm being honest and I'm telling you, and I'm letting you know the situation. Why are you so mad? That ain't the motherfucking point. I'm on the phone right here. He's telling me every fucking thing. I don't give a fuck. He's telling me everything. Lying. But how long y'all been fucking with each other, bro? Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This shit about four months, four and a half, bro. Four and a half months? So what do I mean? Uh, how, how, four and a half months? But I told you been, I was how talking long, so to how him you already. Have you had sex with her before, bro? Yeah, you gotta act that, bro. Man, bro, I'm not trying to disrespect you or nothing, bro. I'm asking you some normal shit, bro. Put the shit on the other foot, nigga, if you was in this situation, bro. I'm just trying to ask you some normal shit, bro. I'm not trying to call or disrespect you or nothing, bro. Have you had sex with this woman, bro? But why are you even calling him? That's the part I don't get. What's the... What's the point? Man, uh, man, so, 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 where are you from, bro? Man, it's all good, man. It's good. So, 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 so... Why would you just so, sit so, up there and call him though like so, that's so the are you a friend of ryan's are you a friend of ryan's or something yeah do you know ryan oh see okay, this, this so. is shit this is how this is how the fuck this shit happened here bro you know what i'm saying this lady been cheating she's married down there say she's supposed to be married down there bro i don't know what's going on she's been sneaking out walking off weird times of the day and shit so i guess this would have been she been running off with you she can have a bitch i don't even give a fuck about her bro you can have a bitch. Fuck, I don't give a fuck about that. She can have it. Get the fuck up out of my house. I'm gonna tell this motherfucker. Get up out of here. Boy, get the fuck out of my house. Get these know. motherfucking dogs. Get everybody the fuck up out of my motherfucking house. First I don't and foremost, I'm not going no fuck. motherfucking get way. Get the fuck out of my fucking house. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fucking phone. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And you just broke my whole ass phone. You serious, dude? You so I'm not here to like talk about their relationship. I bet he got his dirt too. I wouldn't be shocked, okay? I'm showing you this because this is what makes me question her integrity. It just seems to be that every time she goes online, there's always drama and nobody can just be that fucking unlucky. Look at this other clip. Hey. I am 
so irritated right now. This nigga done took my whole car, okay? Woke up this morning and I did not have a car. So guess what? I'm about to fuck all his shit up now. It's over. I want her to come outside and say anything to me. I want them to come outside and say anything to me. Come outside. Period. Report that. I give two fucks. Shouldn't have touched my car. Shouldn't have fucked with my shit. Period. Shouldn't have did it. Shouldn't have did it. Leave my shit alone. So now look at He ain't going nowhere. He ain't driving no bitches around. And I got the tow man right here. Waiting to see. I'm waiting on my sister to bring my pink slip so the tow man can tow my fucking car for me. Since this nigga wanna play hell much. One common thing with her, guys. Look at her. Recording every single thing that's drama, she comes online to post it. And then there's no way that we're gonna call this smart. You literally just showed yourself vandalizing someone's car and then posting it online. Come on, bro. At this point, a lot of us will have to agree she don't got enough sense okay we would agree that this is almost childlike behavior again i'm not about to sit here and talk about their relationship it just sounds toxic but i showed you all this so i can show you this next clip because remember she just went viral with some new drama saying that her kid stole two thousand dollars but we didn't even see the kid in the video this comment says girl dispute them charges and call her mama ss glow up didn't just call her mama she pulled up on her mama now make sure y'all press the like button, okay? Because this is about to be good. Look at the comments, guys. Look, you always in some mess. Go sit down somewhere. It's nothing cute or attractive about having drama every day. Okay, guys? So as I said, the integrity here is questionable. I think this is the door my son walked to when I, when I drop him off. Hello. Hi, is Kayla here? Why? Um, because I'm the lady that you've been talking to on the phone. Mm -hmm. And um, I called you and I was telling you about my son ordering stuff to this address for her. Um, okay, but what does that have to do with my daughter? Because I was asking you over the phone if y'all can give it back when it comes so I can ship it back. Because it was from my card, not his. Oh, uh, well, you have to talk to your son about that because I don't know. She ain't here right now. What you mean I got to talk to? So you going to be that type of mama and not take response so... You the actual son. That's your son. That's when... that's real messed up though. Hey. That's real messed up though. Why you at my door? I'm at your door because I came over here to talk to you like a woman because you hella ghetto over the phone. Okay. And you that, act like you don't but understand. Your son taking your car and ordering my daughter something doesn't have to do nothing with her. She didn't do it. Your okay, son. but you a mother, so at the end of the day, what I'm asking you is this. When the stuff come, would you send it to me or would you send it back? To, uh, I see. The way you're talking right now, uh, you ain't getting nothing back. What you mean? I'm not... I'm Typically, if another adult comes to your door and says that your child has been doing something wrong, a crime, something bad, right? A mother would ask questions, right? They'd be like, oh, how do you know this? What happened? They would ask questions. Notice how this lady didn't ask one question. So that got me thinking. This mom is aware that her daughter is getting men to buy her stuff. Or two, her daughter is dating men, getting into their house, and then stealing their parents' credit cards, and then buying a shitload of stuff off of Sheen and Fashion Nova. That's the other thing that I'm thinking, which means I think the mom knows why this is happening. Because what kind of parent says, well, that's your problem. Go talk to your son. It's like, yeah, y'all both scamming. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, I'm, not, I'm not talking rowdy, rough, or none of that. Okay, but what, I, uh, See, but, if okay, I wanted to be over said, here doing hella shit. Said, but what did your son say about it? 
It does not matter what my son said about it. I I but call and I talk to, to your daughter. Your daughter, her fast ass disrespectful mouth. No, 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 no. Your son. Your son. That's your son is the problem, not my daughter. Okay, so. Not my daughter. Okay. My daughter didn't take my car to go order your son. Nothing. Your son did that. That was on him. Okay, so girl, open up this door. Open up this door. For what? Open up this door because I, I don't think you understand. You're at my door, but you're at my like door. I said, open you're up this door. door. You're open up this door. door. You're at my friend door. Okay, so you're not gonna open up the door? No, for what? I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you. So you're not. So you gonna talk hella shit on the phone, and then when I'm asking up the door, you're not gonna open up the door? I don't get that. I don't understand that. Mm, no. No. Okay, so I'm about to just send the Girl, police to this address. I'm not going nowhere. Okay, I'm not going nowhere. Nothing, but she didn't steal nothing. I'm stuff. not going anywhere until you come up with an agreement, basically saying that you will give the merchandise back. Y'all stealing? How are we stealing? She didn't steal your cord. Your son ordered it for her. Like I said, y'all stealing son, at this but, okay, point. Okay, but what type of mom were you to allow something like that, though? I didn't allow nothing. I didn't know until you called my phone. Okay, but what type of mom were you to allow something like that, though? I don't get that. I don't understand that. Girl, open up this door. Get away from my girl. Why is you pulling on my gate? Okay, open up the door. Girl. Because I don't want you to do no more talking. You ghetto as hell. Girl, is you recording? Girl, why are you got your phone on out? Girl, open up the door. 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 This for my protection. I'm not doing nothing to you. I'm not at your front door. You got mine. So shouldn't I feel harassed or anything? Why would you feel that way? Because you're at my door. Okay, I just asked you to open up the door, man. Why? Can you open up the door so Why? so I can see you and we're, we're you know? Face to face. You see me. I no, see I, you. I I don't I don't see you. I do. I, I see don't you. see you. I see you perfectly fine. I don't see you, girl. Oh my god. What? She really just tried to open her door that right there is enough to be able to call the police like just not she's not being smart it's just not being smart not being responsible and most of this stuff could have just got solved at home with the bank but you pulled up to her mama house and now you want to fight her you see what i'm saying about this woman y'all the integrity here is shot and if you guys haven't seen the comments everyone is like bro this is a skit this has to be a skit like no one else believes it either but then if this is a skit if this is not true that means that the two thousand dollars that was stolen by her son was also not true if you call this fake so the comments are kind of scattered some people think it's real some people think it's fake some people are saying hey don't touch your door leave the house i'm just saying guys there's a story here and i'm i'm not sure so i'm showing you what do y'all think about this guys we just made it to 400,000 followers i'm really a music artist but i make these videos because i know you like them so please follow the page for me and besides all of this, remember, when you woke up in your bed, it was just you. You had a plan. You have come so far. Do not forget why you did all that work. I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not going to live it being no weak motherfucker on dead nim. We got work to do. Pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced But it was so easy to throw us away And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be I fucking love you, but not more than me When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regret You acting different, I'm peeping on that I really wanted to stay till the end But I gotta take off these rose-colored glasses And know when it's time for me to walk away So I can say we wanted different things All of this effort, I'm tired of asking for it Why did you ask me to commit? I see where this is going into a ditch <laughs> It's breaking my heart Cause I know that it's one that you dig You really thought I would lay up in it But I let you go Cause I know that I try